Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to part two of today's artistic license. We are doing some more of our Final Fantasy X to New Yevon run. Okay, we are trying to level up Mascot right now um, in preparation for beating Trema. I would love to beat Trema this, um, this stream, so we'll see if that happens. We'll see if that happens. Um, I've got some everything bagel hummus right here. I'm gonna try that and see if that's any good. Came from a Publix platter. That was good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, do you see the Publix platter with the, the everything? The everything hummus? Some bagels with it? Bagel bites with it? Mm-hmm, yep. It's only 20 bucks, and it's huge. We should definitely get it. It's really good. Levi's in the other room. He's like, I told you it was banging. Yep. It's really, really banging. <laughs> Jesper Starlight, hello! Welcome in! How are you today? My name is Karen, by the way. I see his first time in here. Um, we are playing Final Fantasy X 2. We are almost at the end. We are trying to level up and farm up abilities for our mascots so that we can beat Trema. Um, we are on level 81 of the VN Finito, so we've got 20 more levels to go down to get to Trema. Um, we are running into issues, so we are trying to get ribbon for everybody so that we can avoid those issues and actually fight all the way down there instead of turning off battle. So we're going to see if this works to be able to do that and try to beat Trema. I do not have an adamantite. Um, or, and, and a lot of the guides say you need one to beat Trema in your first playthrough, but I don't think you do. I think we can do it with the garment grid that we have, the higher power garment grid, um, and using crystal bangles for, higher, for the higher HP. So long as we get everyone, like, the auto-protect, auto-shell, like, those things from the mascot dress sphere. So that's what we're trying to do today. We do play a lot of, um, of these types of games. We have 100% run through of Final Fantasy X. This is basically the, a new Yevon run, the first run of Final Fantasy X 2. We are going to do it again with a Youth League run, and um, then probably again for all the Fiend Tales. Like, we're trying to do a 200% run of this. Um, I love RPGs like these games, Final Fantasy games. Uh, other things that we do on stream is we play a lot of Sims 2. So if you're into Sims 2, that's another thing that we do here. So kind of in between runs of 10 2, we'll probably do a little bit of that to kind of like take a little Final Fantasy break. Um, we are also currently doing a hardcore uh, WoW Warlock run. So she's level 24 at the moment. So we are working on that. And we'll, we'll keep streaming her until she dies. <laughs> and I stream on the weekends. Um, and the other main part of my stream is every month or so, we have a podcast uh, that we do where we do like some media analysis, me and my friend Landon, on like a book or a movie or a TV show or something of that nature. This year we've been going through Hunger Games and reading all of the Hunger Games books. We just finished um, Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, the new one, the prequel, and we did our little uh, analysis of that um, last week, or so not last week, uh, yesterday. Oh, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you so much for the follow, friendo. I really appreciate it. So yeah, that's a little about me. That's a little about what I do here. So yeah, obviously some of that interested you. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, that's basically that's basically it. We play a lot of retro games. Working through 10 right now. Oh my God, I love 10. 10 is my favorite Final Fantasy. What part are you on? Tell me, tell me all about your run. And I will say, oh good, she learned Ribbon. Okay. All right, so we got to the spot that we wanted to get to. So we can go back and try to progress down farther. Okay, yeah, and see like, okay, so she's, Yuna's working on that. Uh, let's see, let's see, where's Riku at? She's learning auto protect. You just got to the laugh scene? Oh my God, there's so much goodness in that game to still come for you. I'm so happy for you. Are you familiar with it? Like, have you played it before or is this like a first playthrough? I'm being slow. I think that's fine. I think that's fine to be slow with that game. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and equip, um, let's see, we'll do, put Invincible on her, we'll do a Crystal Bangle and Rabbit's Foot, and we'll do Crystal Bangle and 
What do we want to put on? I think Kaiser Knuckles. Let me look what I put in my notes. Yeah, I put in my notes. Let's try Kaiser Knuckles. Let's put a Kaiser Knuckles on here. <clears throat> Okay, so this is the setup. So we're gonna go back. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's turn off the frequent battles. Click on the right window. Okay, there we go. Uh, there we go. And being so I beat both of them when I was younger. Oh yeah, yeah. I did too when they first came out like for PlayStation. And um, I think Final Fantasy X, I have beaten like bought so many times now. I love that game so much. And I remember when X2 came out and I played it and I was really not a big fan at first. And so I never really beat it, but I liked the combat system. So eventually as an adult, I came back to X2 and now I disagree with my younger self. And I think it actually is a good game. There's just a couple of scenes really that bother me in regards to like Yuna and um, her characterization and the way that Riku in particular acts towards her. But um, I forgive it, you know, no story is perfect. No story is perfect. So it's okay at this point, I think. And there's other parts of the story that I really enjoy. So I forgive it. And it still like really super gets me at the end. So it's okay. And I do really like like the idea of um, Shu Yin and Lin and all of that stuff. And like um, the idea of memories getting trapped. I think that that's very, uh, very poetic for Spira and how Spira works. I was the odd one who liked Ten Two more, but who knows? But who knows that when I was younger? Oh, I, I assume there's more. Well, Ten Two has the better battle system. Like it's a more exciting game. So I do not blame your younger self. For enjoying 10 2. Um, and I think honestly, for a modern gamer, ooh, lucky guess. I think honestly, for a modern gamer, 10 2 is probably the more interesting game because, like, nobody really does these, like, super Yuna, slow turn based us. battles anymore. So, I do think, like, a modern gamer that never really played those types of old school RPGs would struggle with 10 nowadays. So, I can sympathize. I can sympathize and understand. But if you're really focused on the story, I think 10 2 is a little bit lacking because the story is so good in 10. Like, so good. Like, it gets me. There's multiple parts of it that make me cry and feel all the feels, you know? Um, no matter how many times I play it, like when we did our 100% playthrough on the stream, um, I cried at all the parts. I cried at all the parts, even though I've seen it a zillion times. It doesn't matter. Okay, so this time, when we come down here, we're getting this little lizard die instead of the stupid, like, uh, mushroom that wanted to, like, destroy me with petrification. My favorite is 6, 8, 9, and 10. That's a good run. That's a good run. I like 6. Um, I would say I probably like 6, 7, and 10 the most. Um, 9, I didn't play. Like, it came out at kind of a weird time, you know? Um, to where when it was, like... PlayStation um, was on its way out and PlayStation 2 was coming in or something like that. And so I just never made it to playing 9. I would love to go back and play it as an adult sometime, so, but I've, I've barely touched it. I've watched some playthroughs, but that's about it. Um, 8, I didn't like Squall. <laughs> I didn't like Squall. And I, no, I need to go back as an adult and play it and see if I can um, be more forgiving to his character. Because, I mean, I was instantly forgiving and sympathetic of... Uh, of Titus, which a lot of people struggle to like, but um, but I couldn't handle Squall. <laughs> I couldn't handle Squall as a kid. I thought he was so annoying, and I didn't understand what Renoa saw in him. And the the story was so focused on their romance in a way that um, I couldn't handle it. <laughs> so I need to go back and replay it as an adult. Yay, auto protect. Okay, that'll be helpful. I should have bought some potions. We're coming down here. Again. 
So I have to every couple of um, levels go back up and heal. I forgot seven, seven might be. Seven's good. Yeah, but I think that run, like for me, for me, like for my age range, and I, I assume if those are your favorite Final Fantasies, you're, you're very, s oops, sorry, that's loud. You're similar age range or maybe a little bit younger than me. Um, like that was just, that was just the jam. Those were like the best RPGs for consoles of the time. And so like, that was it. Another favorite RPG, I will tell you, Chrono Trigger. I played the fuck out of that game. It was so good. 1992. Yeah. So I, um, I'm in the 30s. <laughs> uh, so I was born in the 80s. I was born in the 80s. Oh, yeah. Oh, this bitch. Okay. Can we get him? Can we get him? I don't know, honestly, if we can. We might have to escape, because he's gonna megaton hammer me before like I get it that far. Oh she might. Burner Trigger's very good as well. I play all the JRPGs, yeah. It's so good. Like how many Moogle beams and Catling guns am I gonna have to do? I should have done a heal. Good, but I really liked the um the spicy lemon pepper a lot. It was really good. Oh, I liked the Greek one. Um, oh dang it. Okay, we're gonna have to escape. Um, it's okay. <laughs> we're fighting an enemy that's really hard, but it's okay. I escaped. I lived. Um, yeah, I I liked them both, but I liked the spicy lemon pepper way better. It was very strong, <laughs> but that's good. I liked that. Please, if you could. Thank you. No, I'm good for right now. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think we're after like after each level, I'm gonna have to go back up and like heal or whatever. So yeah, I'd love to. I I want to do like more runs of various Final Fantasy games and Chrono Trigger as well on stream at some point. Um. I have the pixel remaster. Okay, you're not gonna best me this time, bitch. You're gonna best, I'm gonna best you. I'm gonna best you. I'm gonna get you this time. Ultima? That's not what you did last time. Can I survive Ultima? Can I survive this? Oh, I can, okay. Oh, she might. Okay, and it's dead. Thank God. <clears throat> and now I'm out of high potions. Ah, we're gonna have to escape from the next couple battles, I think, or turn off encounters. Let's, um, okay. I need to find a little pad to go back up. I don't wanna do this too much. I don't want to die. And I should have bought more potions, so we need to go do that. We need to stock up on high potions again. Or really, any potions I can buy. Okay, my... The pad, I think the pad's just up to the... Yep, I see it, I see it. It's past those little tunnels. Let's walk up there. Oh, another good game from that era that we did, we did a 100% run through on stream. If you like, um, do you like Majora's Mask? We did that one. I did 100% on that one. It was really good. Okay. Is there any of you guys a shop? Are you a shop? Are you a shop? Okay, none of you will sell me shit. Okay, let's board the airship. How I found you on YouTube was Zelda, really? You found my Majora's Mask videos? Oh, that's so cool. Thank you for coming over to the Twitch from there. I never know, cause it's really just posting VODs. So like, I never really know if those are really gonna get a lot of views or if anybody's gonna really care. Cause 
I post them basically for my friends when they miss a stream that they wish they would have come to, you know? So I never expect like a huge amount from those videos. Oh, this is the engine room. What the heck am I doing? I'm getting too excited about watching people watching my Zelda videos. Okay, um, we want to go to the cabin. Okay, so what can we do for you? You can buy. You can sell. Buy me some. Buy me some. Sell me some potions. Okay, let's go to the gold store. We're gonna buy some high potions. Yep, and more Phoenix Downs. Alright, that's all good. That's that's the best we can do. Thank I wish you. I wish somebody's like sold X potions or something so I could buy some more or mega potions, but I don't think that that's the case. Alright, so we can go back now. I know we only progressed one level. <laughs> we only progressed one level. It was a very hard level. <clears throat> okay. Uh, we're gonna progress more. Whee! Yes, our only hot spot left. We're gonna clear it. We got this. We got this. Eighty-four. But we made it to. Not too bad. Progressing. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Oh, you again. You. Thought as a kid, I did so much in a lot of the side content. No, I missed all of it in 10 too. I think most people did. I think most people did. It was um, very difficult to find it all without a guide. Um, and as a kid, like you don't really know how to be systematic in a way that would help You're you mine. be able to do it without a guide. So yeah, I think most people miss most of the content on their first playthroughs. I know I did. Like I think, like on my first playthrough, the way I remember it going is I missed so much and I was so under leveled and I got basically to like the chapter four where you have to watch all the comm spheres and I did not understand how to make that progress and actually watch the right ones to make it happen. And, um, and I got annoyed and I stopped. <laughs> and I was like, I don't even like this game's story anyway. They Sayonara. made his character stupid. And so, yeah, <laughs> that's basically what happened to me as a kid playing this game. I did, like in 10, I did not find a single Jekt Sphere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, um, that's a mood. That's a mood. I, I think in my first playthrough of 10, like when I was a kid, like the only one of the uh, like ultimate weapons I got was Riku's because um, I couldn't I couldn't understand any of the others, how to do any of the others really. Like it's like only Riku's, which made the end very difficult. <laughs> but Riku's you can just kind of find in the world by exploring. So I had that one, but I'm pretty sure I did not have any of the others. Don't you press me? <gasps> Rude. Time to Rude. Act. Can't believe they have this guy as a regular enemy when I just fought him. Just fought him. It wasn't that long ago. Oh, why? Oh, you got no MP, girl. You got no MP. Um.
All right, get this Catlin gun. Get him with this Catlin gun. Hopefully this kills him. Oh, no. Okay, maybe one more. He's not dead yet. Yeah, keep gunking on her. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Okay, we're not fighting any more of these guys. If we run into one again, we're running away. I feel like we're so close to killing this one, though. He's gotta die soon. One more of each, and then and then I'm done. I'm escaping. Oh, okay, whatever. Not worth it is not worth, like, wasting all of my items on that guy. Okay. We need to run back up and heal. I know we didn't progress. I know we just got on this floor, but we need to run back up and heal. Because those MP items are not free. Like, I, I can't really get those as easily. Gonna run away from the conquerors. Do not have what it takes. This is too long of a battle. He has too much HP. We can kill this bitch, though. We can kill this bitch. There we go. Yeah. Got you. Gave me so much trouble. That's the whole reason I went and even got the ribbons in the other dungeon. Like, leveled them up. You, and now I can kill you. No problem. Let's go, Gullwings! Yeah! Oh, I can kill you Let's too. Do it. <clears throat> got you, got you. I'm gonna miss you. There we go. I knew I could get him. And I like that they drop mega potions. We are gonna need those. Yuna, Marimas. 
Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, kill it before. That's a waste of mana. A waste of mana. Come on, kill it, kill it, kill it. Ultima. Well, I think Miss Pain might die anyways. Yep. Okay. Well, that solves that problem. Okay, so let's do... Oh, we got you, Mr. Boris. God, and I keep doing it. I keep accidentally using her MP. Ooh, a mithril, another Mithril Bangalore. Yes, well, we do have like so many of those. We don't really need, I would like another Speed Bracer so I could have triple Speed Bracers. That would be nice. Okay, 85, we made it. Another level. What's here? Oh, you. Okay. How are you, gentlemen? We're on a roll. Turn around. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see. Exactly. Cozy on that way. Where's the fun in that? It's all in the wrist. That's right. All right, they can keep giving me the crab enemy. That's all. Good. So far, the only thing we've had to really run from is the conquerors. They just take way too long. As far as the enemies we're finding on these, this set of 20 here. Okay, it don't matter. It don't matter. We got it. I want to kill as many of those as I can so I can get lots of mega potions. Okay, hello, little Tonberry. Hello. How are you? You're so cute. This game looks very good for being 20 years old, for real. This is the HD remake, though, for PC, so, like, all the graphics are updated. But I will tell you, if you go back and look, at the original PS2 version, it doesn't look that different. It really doesn't. Um, it's just that it's, you know, it's lower definition. So, you know, but if you look at that on a CRT where it was meant to be played, like it really does not look that different um, than how like an HD version looks on a computer screen. Still has to learn Arcana. Where is Riku with um? Oh, she already learned Auto Protect. Okay, I want to put her back on here. The erasers. Her mascot. Where's Pain at? Oh, still learning Auto Shell. Okay. Hopefully, Pain will have Auto Shell and Auto Protect by the time we get to Trema. If not, we can level that up. We'll have to level them up a little bit anyways to get them to 99. Like I don't suspect we'll be at 99. I bet we'll be close, like 97 or something. Maybe pain will be 99. 
but like Riku and Yuna won't or something like that. Horrors will we find on this level? You again! Some of my ass. Oh, not. oh, but he will reg in himself. Okay, hang on. Let's do a uh, let's mega potion. I feel like an oversold version of this guy would have Ultima. Just feel like that's the case. Nervous. Um, do full cure. Now she has more HP than I expected. Ouch. Again, you gotta keep up with it. Okay, well, we're back in business. We can attack again. Ultima. Oh my god, he's gonna kill me. Bye. Bye, cool world. See you later. <gasps> oh my god, Riku survived. Holy fuck. <laughs> I, I thought we were dead. I thought we were so dead. Oh my god. really close I was ready I was ready to load the last auto save I thought oh <laughs> we're done yeah done that's what I thought but no we were okay Riku Riku came in and, Riku coming in clutch yeah if I run into another one of those they're gonna they're gonna be oversold again since we did not kill his oversoul so we need to use some Catlin guns and Moogle beams on him to do more damage I think you're going down! That's the spirit. Insect matriarch? Did I see that in the bomb? Uh, the bomb area? The dungeon. The bomb dungeon. That's the word I was looking for. I don't feel like I did. Oh, well, she died pretty easy. Nice work. So it's all good. This is your lucky day. Oh no! 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 Goodbye. I don't want to be friends. Sorry. It's not you. It's me. It's not you. It's me. I just can't do enough damage. Too slow, too slow. Whee! Alright, 87.
a Dodge Master. Conberry can't get me. You can, though. Bye bye. We're making progress now. We're making progress again. <clears throat> we're learning. We're learning. Really do not know so much about this little section of the game, like this far down in the Via Infinito. Don't know as much. gonna oversoul? He's gonna oversoul. Okay, wait, let's try this again with using my Moogle Beams and my Cat Link Lens. And he's gonna immediately Ultima. Great job. Oh, Phoenix down on board. Again. Penance made me really upset in my recent 10 playthrough. Yeah, Penance is a bitch. You okay? No, we're not okay. We're not. Okay, let's do um the life. Full cure! He just full cured himself. No, okay, whatever. We're not doing this. This is not worth our time. No, no oversold black element. Sorry. I would like to, but no. Yeah, the reason Penance is such a such a bitch to fight in 10 is because, like, you kind of have to do everything perfectly or he fucks you up. Like, you make one mistake on a turn and uh, you can't win. And it takes so long to beat him. It takes forever. So it's like... It's so frustrating. And there's no other fight in 10 that's really at all like that. So it's the one and only time that the game does anything like that to you. Makes it really difficult.
Yeah, I think I got on my 20th run. I kept getting so close. It takes forever. Exactly. Exactly. At that point, it's almost like just Yojimbo it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Farm Gill Yojimbo. <laughs> At least that works. If I do another run, I'm gonna skip it. You can't make me right. <laughs> I think once you have beaten Penance once, um, you don't need to do it again. It, you, it's you don't. It's not an experience you need to have multiple times. It one time is good. <laughs> it's ridiculous, and it's just extra ridiculous that that is like the hardest battle in an otherwise relatively easy game. Like there isn't a lot of battles that are super challenging. Like as a kid, I was challenged by the Seymour fights, you know, the various Seymour fights. But like, once you learn them and you know what the gimmick is, they are not challenging. The only one that even is still a tiny, tiny bit is when you fight him on Mount Gavazet that last time. Um, but even that's not too bad. Ooh, this is the Oversoul. Have I fought an Oversoul one? Are you still gonna die pretty quick? I hope so. I guess that was some kind of status effect. Okay, yeah, he still doesn't have a lot of HP, so that's all. <coughs> Two of you? No, we go after Mushroom Pot first. <coughs> I think I breathed that last little sip of LaCroix. Stop dodging. Made me rethink my life choices. <laughs> like, how much time do I have to be devoting to such tasks? <laughs> Hi there. I've definitely heard people say, in regards to penance, such things as, I would rather jump royal than nine, than, uh, than fight penance. <laughs> Of them. Oh my god, sniffing. Oh, oh, one of them got pain. You bitch. Oh my god, they are killing me so fast. Three of them is too many. It's too many, it's too many. I don't think he drops anything good, it's just a flex. Yeah, it is truly just a flex. I don't remember what he drops from when I did it. I, I think it's you just do it for the achievement, you know? You're not doing it for like anything that's gonna really help you win the game. Okay, let's guess this one first. I'm gonna whack you good. Oh, three again. Okay. They're just, three is too many, they're too fast. And they dodge too much. Oh, lucky first guess again. All right, 92, we're making our way. Making our way downtown. And fast, it's fast, and I'm about.
muerto. Mega potion, but unnecessary. Oh my gosh, why they gotta give me all these doubles? I'm not built for this. <clears throat> Elder Drake don't need to be paired with nothing. He is good on his own. Oh, again, again. No, 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 we're escaping. Thought about it and I was like, no. I know each of those on their own. I want to fight them together just right this moment. I need to go. I need to go back up and heal. I'm not wasting items. It's going to keep throwing this. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. I thought for a second it was going to keep throwing the same pair at me. I got to say, like, the heck? I cannot get away from them. Lizards are speedy. Slow down. Move too fast. Ah, oh, three of these again. Okay, let's try it. This. Oh nope, nope. I can already tell. <laughs> it's too much. It's too much. Berries are still simple. They didn't ramp up in difficulty for the required fights. The little baby Tom Berries. first Tom Bear, I'm like, oh, it's cute, stabs me in one shot. Oh, dear. Yes. <laughs> yes, that is, that is the, the ton, the quintessential Tom Berry experience. But we do love it. They're iconic. And I love that Payne's mascot is a Tom Berry. Because she's like, you know, the emo goth chick, so of course she has like the dangerous one. What was that level 94? Let's go. Oh. Is it gonna oversoul? It's gonna oversoul. Yep. I'm gonna keep oversouling until I beat the oversoul. Let's heal and save. <clears throat> All right, we're on level 94. We can do this. Pain is great, I think. Yeah, I love her. Pain's awesome.
I think she's like a, she's like a great new character. Honestly, I think like all the added characters in this one are pretty good. Like I, I like Verily, um, for example. Um, I like an oversight. Um, I really like all the th all three of the like faction leaders. I think they're really cool. I like LeBlanc. Um, she's amazing. Uh, you know, goals love her favorite. Yeah, I love all the new characters. Like, truly, my only complaint in regards to this game is how they characterize Yuna as, like, this goody, goody that's, like, that does the things she does because she doesn't know how to say no and she's such a pushover and all this stuff. And, like, it only happens in a couple of scenes. But what really bothers me is that Riku perpetuates this narrative. Okay, why didn't any of these? Riku perpetuates this narrative, right? And Riku... 100% knows better. Riku tried so hard to convince Yuna to do things a certain way, and she couldn't. And it has nothing to do with Yuna's moral compass. It has to do with, like, Yuna... Like, she's gonna do what she wants to do. Like, she's headstrong. Why... Yeah, I didn't walk all the way onto this one. Or this one again. And, um... And so, like... Ah, oh, there we go. I just feel like the scenes would be better if Kane had, like, a misread on Yuna and Riku was, like, correcting that instead of just constantly agreeing with Kane's incorrect assessment. Because Yuna's not a pushover. She's not doing things, like, just to be good. She's doing them because she feels like that is her purpose in life. Like, that is what she's here for, that is her mission, and that's what gives her value. So when she actually achieves it, of course, and she's doing all of these things to help save Spira in this game, she's reevaluating what her, what her, like, purpose is in life, which is causing her to have all this confusion and looking back and hoping that that sphere is Titus and seeing him again and da da da, da all this stuff, right? So I feel like Riku knows Yuna well enough and understands Yuna well enough from the first game that she should get this in a way, but she doesn't. Like, she just agrees with pain. And I just don't think that's right. So that bothers me a little bit. But it's literally just certain scenes that that happens. Overall, like the story of Shu Yin and Lin and, uh, and all of that, that's good. I love that part. And I love Pain's story too. Like I think Pain's story and how that relates to the, the three the faction leaders, like that's really good as well. All for it. You would take away my MP before I got to run away. Setup for this game being more lighthearted and fun is great, but sometimes it runs at odds with the first one. Yeah. I mean, the mood shift bothered me a lot when I was a kid playing this because I didn't really understand um, why they would do that. But as an adult, I'm a little bit more forgiving of the mood shift, and I wouldn't care at all if they were not, like, jacking up <clears throat> Yuna's character in the way that they did that. Like, having a more lighthearted game after Spira is saved, like, I think that's okay. I just don't like the, what they tease Yuna about, because I think they're wrong. I think that, that Pain and Riku are wrong in regards to what they tease Yuna about. Okay, why are these not dying? What is happening? Oh no! Ultima, you know Ultima! I had forgot about that! Oh my god, die! Why is it not dying? It died so fast before!
I don't know what the big deal is. Why it's not dying. learned anything about Final Fantasy, they never do the part two well, yeah. And I mean, this was the first time, 10-2 was, was the first time that they really tr tried to make like a real true sequel, and um, and there are some flaws with it, you know, but once you kind of like open that sequel box, you can't really close it again. So, you know, that's why 13 has three freaking games, <laughs> you know, so it's tough. But the thing is, is like, <laughs> Kitty stuff. I it? love Spira so much. They could make a 10 3, and it could be hot garbage. And I would play it. Signed and sealed. I would play it because I just love Spira that much. It wouldn't matter to me. Like, I'm not going to pretend like I'm above it. Because <laughs> um, I know I'm not. I know I'm not. If they released a 10 3, it could have be like totally panned. Um, on Metacritic, and I would not care. I would buy it, and I would play it. Because for 13.2 to work, it has to retcon the first one. True, yes. Yeah, I played all those games. The sequels, I, I don't even... <laughs> they're so convoluted, I don't even remember them. And the first game of 13 is kinda convoluted. So, yeah. And it just got worse in the sequels. But in 13, the truth is, like, most of those characters, they're so angry, and, like, lightning hits people so much. I don't like most of them. I like Fang and Vanille. And if the game had been about, like, if they had made a game about their story, instead of focusing so much on Miss Punchy Lightning, who likes to hit people, don't hit people. What? <sighs> she hits people so much. Um, then I would have like 13 a lot better um because i like fang and vanille quite a lot and i think their story is much more interesting than the whole like lightning sarah snow all that never see monsters on these levels, but I keep getting fights on the Tonberry level. There we go, got it. Sorry if y'all can hear that. My neighbor let their dog out and they are right by my window barking up a storm. I don't think the microphone's picking it up, but if it is, I apologize. My neighbor is crazy and has a very loud dog. I have not touched 13 since it came out, but I remember thinking this party is only together because the shared goal, um, they have to do or they die or whatever. Exactly, like they're mad at each other all the time. And some of the reasons that they're mad at each other are really fucking stupid. Like Hope is mad at Snow because he blames snow for not saving his mom and they were both involved in the resistance and it's like but snow did try to save her and failed and it wasn't like snow forced hope's hey lunar um forced hope's mom into joining the resistance like there's nothing like that so it doesn't make any sense hope is mad at snow he just is until snow basically explains the reality that um he tried to save his mom and it didn't work out and it's like, okay, it's just, it's just so fucking dumb. It's so fucking dumb. Hey, Lunar, how was church today? Was it was it good? We're almost down to the final boss. This was floor 99, we're about to see floor 100. 
<clears throat> yeah, we can take these. Get the mushroom. First. Oh, see, now it died in like three hits. Whatever. That other mushroom clock is fake. It was very good. Okay, go back just in time. Yes, I am doing good. I'm doing good. I'm hoping we can beat the this final boss here. So what we're going to do, we're, we're about to get down to level 100, and that's where he is. That's where he is. And then what we're going to need to do is um, <clears throat> is get everybody up to level 99. So we're going to do that. And uh, and then we're going to try to fight him. We're going to try to fight him. Okay. See what happens. Next, please. To me, the good Final Fantasies ended at 10. <laughs> I think a lot of people feel that way. I think a lot of people feel that way, but I'm not sure it's so clear cut. Like, I think it's very hard to tell because I think, like, you love the Final Fantasies of your childhood. Because I think any any fan of, like, the older Final Fantasy games, like the Pixel ones, right, that's more like L older Gen X or somebody like that, probably say that their group of Final Fantasies was the best, you know, like four, five, six or something. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. I think Final Fantasy has a problem where they go through these kind of like eras um, where they'll make several games and every fi single Final Fantasy has something that's new about it. But eventually, like, you'll get used to the kind of groupings of ones that you really like, right? And then when they make one that's, like, outside of that grouping, it can kind of feel like it's not what you were looking for anymore. So, but then it brings in a bunch of new fans Let's that like it. that style better than the old style. So, I think it's a challenge. But when it comes to Final Fantasy... What I believe is that for every kind of roleplay gamer, there is a couple of Final Fantasies that you're going to like. You might not necessarily like all of them because they iterate so much and change. Okay, here he is. 100. Cloister 100. That being said, I do like 11 and 14, but their MMOs is hard. I have a hard time putting them in the same camp. Yes, I agree. I actually was not a huge fan of 11, although I played the hell out of it. Um, the combat was really slow. But I really liked 14. Like, I played through 14's story. Um, I never really made it to, like, end game rating or anything, but I played through the story for several expansions and thought it was good. Okay, so we made it. We made it, you guys. So here's what we're going to do next. Let's save. Um, where are we at with our abilities? Okay, so she's almost leveled up, Mask. Uh, Riku really hasn't. That's okay. She's got the ability she needs. Pain does not have the ability she needs, really. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Equip Yuna with Lady Luck for the bonus experience. Equip Riku with Lady Luck for the bonus experience. We're gonna give Pain the AP Egg so that she can get her Auto Shell and Auto Protect, which she's gonna need. And she's higher level than the other two, so this will work out. AP egg. And we're gonna go to our little leveling spot. We're gonna go to our little grinding spot in Thunder Plains. And I and I know that that like kind of like PlayStation 2 era of Final Fantasy and then the later um, Nintendo when they were on the Nintendo console of Final Fantasy is the ones for me like that's the ones I grew up with that's the ones I really like. Um, like, I haven't even played 16. <laughs> they just didn't appeal to me. You know, 15, I was just kind of like, oh, it's all boys. Oh, cool, I guess. Like, it just, it didn't appeal to me. I didn't need to play boys go on a road trip. I have girls go on a road trip right here. Right here that I can play. I don't need boys go on a road trip. So I didn't ever play it. And then 16, I, I watched my husband play a lot of it. Oh my god, it was really dark. Um, And I felt like... It was all about like the darkness and all about the bigotry against the bears or whatever. And I just thought the way the bigotry was portrayed seemed a little unrealistic to me. Now, I have not played the full game. I do not have full context, okay? I'm just spouting off on the parts that I have seen. 
So because of that, it didn't really appeal to me. And I never really, I never played it. So, I mean, someday I'm, I would like to go back and do it, but there's only so much time in the day. And you gotta spend it on games you So, yeah. To me, like six, seven, and 10 are the best Final Fantasies. But I have not played all of them. I have not played all of them. Hello. Yep, take me to the hole. All right. Let's turn on turbo encounters, turbo speed. Let's go, 99. I do like 12 has a pro tag issue. Um, yes, I would agree with that. I like 12, um, quite a lot. 12's problem is that it's really long. Just straight up, it's too long. And it takes too long to get to the bits where you learn about the characters to where you can really love them. And it just, the cast is so big and none of them are the, really the protagonist. And yeah, so that is a problem with 12. But 12 has a lot going for it as well. Um, Cause it's like, you know, it's like Final Fantasy Star Wars and that's really fun. Like 12's world is really cool. Um, but yes, that has a protagonist problem and it's too long. Oh God, it's too long. And I took forever to get to where I could do the, um, license grid in a proper way it drove me bananas when that game first came out that you had to get the license for the item and then you had to also go buy the item i'm like i don't need a license to know how to put on a hat you just put it on your head the fuck like what no <laughs> no it's like they went they went too far on the idea of like armor proficiency and it was like i don't know this is ridiculous ridiculous so um yeah, there those elements of 12 I am not a fan of. Okay. <clears throat> and we'll switch you over to Lady Luck 2 once you get your auto protect. Stick with me, baby. I'm the fellow you came with. Don't be a lady. Fifteen is fine. Yeah, I really don't know much about fifteen. The marketing just didn't appeal to me, and I like I've never even really watched much of a playthrough. I, I like my knowledge of it is very vague. Okay, auto protect. Sweet. Let's do a quick bit of pain with like, luck. And she doesn't need that. She can put the. Prize or knuckles back. Okay, there we go. 16, I don't know, don't have a PS5 to find out. Yeah. It's gonna come out on PC eventually, I'm sure. Like, I think December, right, is the date that it's coming out on PC, something like that. So I know a lot more people will play it then, because I know for a lot of people, yeah, the issue is like no PS5. So if you don't have a PS5, obviously you can't really play it, you know? Like, what you gonna do? You're not gonna buy a PS5 just for one game. I mean, some people will, but I don't think most people will. They'll just wait for the PC version to come out that we know is gonna come. Alright, pain getting there. Oh, pain's 99. Oh, sweet. Okay, that was her last level up. Okay, I can put her back on mascot then. Get more mascot skills. Part 2 of 7 Remake is also on PS5. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of people haven't played it because of that. 
I have not played any of the seven remake, um, but I have watched playthroughs of that one. All right, so Payne's got 99, so she can go back on Mascot. Get Riku and Yuna those last levels. Alright, 98 for Riku. I did go through part one of 7 Remake and take issue with the from remake, but whatever, it's fine. <laughs> do you do you, so? Do you not consider it a remake? Is that what you mean? Because I feel like they really did like add a lot to it and like adjust things for the story to where it is. It is like a more true remake. It's not really a remaster. It's more of a retelling. Oh, I see. I see. Well, because it is, like, really a different version. Like, it really is, like, its own thing compared to the original 7. Alright, 98 for Yuna. One more level for each of them. Alright, Riku's 99, we just need to get Yuna. Okay, let's put Riku back on the spot. We can continue getting those abilities. Yeah, I would love if, like, if I continue the hobby of streaming long enough, like, I would love to play, um, all the Final Fantasies on stream. At some point. You know, all the way through. Because it is a series I like, and I love so many of the games in the series.
Yeah, I think it would be. I think it would be. Because I have the PC version of the Pixel Remaster, so like that's 1 through 6. And I have the PC version of 13 and 12. Um, so, ah, haha, ha, got it. Okay, that's our last, that is our last level up. Okay, let's equip, yeah, mascot. All right, we are as ready as we are ever gonna be to fight Tremble. So let's walk back to a save sphere. I'm a little nervous, you guys. You can skip past 11 and 14. Yeah, 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 for sure. Is 11 even still live? Like, can you even still play 11? I mean, I would assume that if it's not still live, someone has a private server somewhere that you could play. It is? Wow. I'm amazed. And they're still doing content? Really? Oh my god. I guess games of that of that era, like really actually successful ones, do not die. Because like EverQuest is still li live, somehow, some way, <laughs> amazingly. All right. We only have about 10 minutes left in normal stream time, but I do want to do this Trema fight. So I need to take a quick stretch break and make sure that um, that I don't have any household responsibilities really quickly before I commit to doing this today. So y'all give me like y'all give me like a five minute break. We'll come back and we'll beat Trema. OK, so I'm going to pause. OK, y'all don't go anywhere. Y'all don't go anywhere. I'm going to be I'm going to be right back and we'll fight the hardest boss in the game. OK, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. OK. All right. <clears throat> I took some notes on how I wanted to do this fight, like my thoughts on it. I'm just gonna just gonna refresh just gonna refresh my memory on that. I wanna use a mana spring on him. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> okay. Alright, I've read my notes. I've read my notes. I think we're good. It's as good as it's gonna get. All right, you first, bitch. through the garment grid real quick. Afraid of pain dying before she made it all the way through. Shit, wrong one. Ugh, I fucked up. No, oh, but she died anyways. Okay, whatever. Phoenix down. Let's do, um, uh, Mughal, Mughal Kirja. My god, I cannot keep pain alive. Oh. 
Thank you. Don't hit pain anymore. Almost back to mascot, like let her be. Okay, here we go. Now we can Catlin gun. Beginning was really rough. Beginning was really rough. <clears throat> I got through him. On to Trema. We're going to open with a mana spring on Trema. He has to move through the garment grid again. Yep, he's unsent. Please tell us, why did you hide the spheres of Spira's past? Humans, so hopelessly entangled with their past. I had to seal away that past in order to guide them to the future. 
don't think you're telling the truth, Trim. So what is that supposed to mean? I think you're embarrassed of the past. Well, and what, what happened did. to everyone's spheres then? Destroyed. Turned to fireflies and scattered. How could you? To guide the youth charged with Spira's future, I provided them with a training academy. Here to help, lady. Thank you. But then came the call, and before long, I realized my error. In sin, Spira's youth had an enemy. Without it, they waved their swords at shadows, eager for a foe. Their hearts, you see, were not made of the same tempered steel as their swords. I knew what I had to do to forge their hearts anew. Erase the past. Expunge it. So, trying to erase and rewrite history, insisting that there be a foe Nostalgia. for people to fight. Makes the heart what does that evil. sound like? It is the heart's nemesis. Only one who renounces everything possesses the strength to transcend anything. Hi, Summoner Yuna. You, too. Have forsaken much of your past. Now show me, show me the strength that you have gained. We're gonna try. We're gonna try to beat up this dude. We're gonna try to beat him up. Okay. Okay, let's go. Still hate this dude 20 years later for real. He's pretty evil. He's pretty fucking evil. Awful dude. Okay, we're not in danger zone for health. What was it I was gonna use on him? I was gonna use a mana spring. Right, do I have one? Yeah, I do. Okay, let's take your mana. Now let's start attacking. Made everything worse because I felt like it was an FU. It is an FU. It is an FU, though. And you're blocking me seeing how he's getting beat up. Can you move out of the camera? I know nothing.
every bad thing that happened in this game can be traced back to him, true. He's evil dude. Standing in the way again. Oh, Meteor. I was like, what the heck is that chant? Can we survive the Meteor? We can. We can. Okay. Good job. Good job, guys.
god, die already. Ultima. Oh no, and I'm at 9,000. I don't know if I can survive this. Fuck. Don't fuck! <clears throat> I didn't do it. Okay. <sighs> Try again. We were very close. We were very close. If we had not been lower health when he cast that Ultima, we would have been just fine. We would have been just fine. Okay. Is the auto... <sighs> we're gonna have to watch that whole scene again. Here we go. We were so close, you guys. We were so close. We're gonna get it this time. I didn't see it, so it didn't happen. Thank you. Thank you, Vesper. Thank you. That's right. enemy Iris has it out for pain though that's true that's true they like are gunning for her all the time what does she ever do to them nothing she's just living her life existing Well, she made it all the way around the garment grid without dying first this time. So that's good. That's good. That's better. Genesis fucks me up. Cool. And now I'm all dead. I'm all dead. Oh my god, Paragon. I couldn't even get past Paragon that time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, let's try that. Let's try that again. Let's try that again.
Genesis. Genesis while she's on Lady Luck. Yeah, good. I love it. My favorite. Oh my god, Genesis while she's on Lady Luck again! What is this thing like? First run was so much better. We almost had it. Okay. How do you make him stop Genesising? How do you make him stop? How? It's so rude. Okay, we can do this. I know we can do this. believe with the controls. Ladies and gentlemen. Why does it I got her all the way around the floor. Glad I don't stream anymore because I know I will be losing my mind on live with super bosses. <laughs> I'm losing my mind right now. Where is it? I can't find it. Someone help me. Help me find my mind. I don't know where it is. Around. 
Now we can start killing this bitch. I know I was bad at raging at penance. <laughs> the urge to throw the controller is strong. <laughs> Oh my god! Got past him. I think you have to beat him for 100% and 10 to right. Not if you do a um uh if you do the other faction, usually you don't have to beat him. But it's impossible even if you do beat him to get 100% new in a new Yevon run, which is what we're doing. We're gonna end up with 99%. And this is the cutscene again that we've already seen. So no, you do not have to fully beat him from 100%, I don't think. But you have to do like literally everything so, else. Your tremor. Yuck, he's unsent. Please tell <sighs> us, why did you hide the spheres of Spira's past? Humans, so hopelessly entangled with their past. I... Had to see him Wish I could skip this, but it'll mess up getting the percentage points, and I don't want to fight him again to guide them to the in a later future. playthrough, even though it'll be easier. So, what is that supposed to mean? Well, what happened to everyone's spheres then? Destroyed. <clears throat> so, yeah, my understanding is if you do a run with the Youth League, scattered. so long as you do everything right, in particular with How that, like the you? missable stuff with the whistling. And like pressing X over and over, then you can skip Trema. You still do have to fight down to the other academy. scene that's um that we saw at the beginning but of the stream with um came the Conqueror, right? But that's as far down as you have to fight. Now, if you mess up era. anything, you can fight this guy Insane. in that run to get an extra 0.2 percent to like Without um it, fix it or 0.4 percent. I think he gives you 0.4 percent. But yeah. Their hearts, you see, were not made of the same tempered steel as their swords. I knew what I had to do to forge their hearts anew. Erase the past. Expunge it. Nostalgia makes the heart evil. It is the heart's nemesis. You have a very strange relationship Only with the past, Trema. Very confusing. Not ideologically consistent. Possesses the strength to transcend anything. 
going crazy. Hi, Summoner Yuna. You, too, have forsaken much of your past. Now, you also have to let the dialogue show, play through and not skip, or was that disproven? So you can, you can skip some dialogue, but some of it you can't, and it's not clear. But you definitely can't skip cutscenes. Okay, here we go. Let's get fucking serious. Let's do this shit. Okay, um, we're gonna open up with a uh, mobile beam. We're gonna do, what was I gonna use? Um, mana spring. Get a mana spring on his ass. That's why I've not done this one yet. It's on the list. Well, it's good. It's good. Like, I'm gonna beat this guy. Believe it. I got his ass. of an X-Potion. Stamina tonic this time we are not gonna get into the same situation as before. We have much more HP.
Passate canai, kuta mai. Meteor. Catch you in a minute. I've eaten up Trema right now. Oh, that was an achievement. Dealing that much damage. Okay. Um. I love you, lady. Here are your little meow meows. As soon as I beat up Trema, okay? Dead, yes. Good. Done. Um, move over here, yeah. I know nothing. An X potion on. They fucking hate her for some. in that chain. Robbed. Be flung onto the far plane. Okay, we should be good because we've got over 20k HP. So we're in a much better position than before when we started ultimating. I didn't need adamantite to do it. Yes. Yes. You are the paragon of postlessness. Not a word. You're wrong. It's the first time that word's ever been said. Although it's never been said I've again. I've to be stronger, and I've wanted to change. Thank you. I realized that losing my past would mean losing myself. <laughs> Tell me. 
High Summoner Yuna, where is the loss in that? Iron Duke. Got it. <clears throat> Whew. Oh, I'm so pumped. Can't believe it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Get out of this shithole. Yes. Take me back. Save. Okay. All right. So, yep, 93. Okay, so that should have gotten us 0.4 percentage points fighting and beating him. So we should be at just 93% right now. Yes, we are at 93%. Okay. We're beating this game next week, you guys. We've done everything. We've done everything except for actually go down into the far plane and, um, and beat this game. Okay. If you're all watching the VOD on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Holy shit. Um, I might cut out a lot of the leveling I did. I don't know. We'll see. Um, if there's like long stretches where I'm not really talking about anything interesting, I might cut it out. So if there's like weird jumps in this, that's why. Because this is freaking long. Holy cannoli. This can be long VOD. Okay. All right. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And, um, and of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day. I love you guys. I'm, I'm so happy right now. Bye.